Victoria's high country is a cherished place to visit for a lot of people at any time of year. It's also a place of incredible natural beauty and wonder. In this series, I'm finding out what makes it so special and what we need to do to help keep it that way. One way to make sure that uh, food waste and litter don't get in the natural places is to put them in the bin. But is it really that simple? To answer that question, I've got some students here from Falls Creek, Creek Primary. How's it going, guys? Good. Good. Now, my first question is, well, what's so special about these green bins? This bin's called the living waste, the living bin, and we put all our compost and stuff like that inside it so it doesn't end up in landfill. Right, perfect. And what, what happens to it at um, Falls Creek once it goes in the living bin? Um, once it goes in the living bin, it goes to a plant recycling. Recycling plant? Yeah, yeah a yeah. recycling plant. Because if it went into, because if it went into like one of the worms things, um, the worm, we wouldn't be able to put stuff like apple cores inside it because the worms aren't allowed to get there. Okay, all right, good. What happens to the, the food once it gets turned into soil? goes off to the organics plant, what happens to it then? Um, it goes to gardens so it doesn't go to landfill and so it can be reused again. Um, what happens in winter to anything that gets dropped on the ground? All these students at the school, even last year there was lots of new ones who hadn't been here before, they didn't really understand many of the rules since they hadn't really been to this school before. And in winter they don't really just put it in the bin, they kind of, you can find rubbish everywhere and when the snow melts after winter, the rubbish is spread around the yep. yeah, um, we playground. And um, every year after the snow melts, we um, have this big clean up on the roads and find every um, like can to plastic, plastic bags and we have so, aqua yeah. we have our big aqueduct which has which goes for quite a while and it's um, it's got lots of trout in it and it goes all the way to our huge lake to our humongous water supply which we drink out of and we don't need lots of rubbish in there just polluting it up. yeah polluting it uh, it can kill fish and it, we don't really want to drink mm. your rubbish. <laughs> One of the biggest issues for alpine resort management when it comes to waste management is contamination. Contamination is when bins get things put in them that don't belong. For example, the living bin should get all of our food waste including orange peels and eggshells. However, it will become contaminated if people throw in any plastics or metals, especially sauce packets or wrappers. I was intrigued to find out more about where our waste goes when it is put in the bin. And when the kids told me that Hotham has its own recycling plant on the mountain, I had to check it out. All right, so Pricey, where does our recycling go once it comes to you? Well, it comes here first, in these bags. Yep. Then we open up our bags, we put onto our conveyor sorting station, we're separating out the cardboards from the glass, and then all the other coming recycles into that green skip. Yep. And off to be recycled. Beauty, can we give it a go? Sure. Out comes the cardboard. Once we've got our cardboards out, we're ready to head up to the sorting station and do a bit of sorting. Yep. So how do people know what's recyclable and what's not at Hotham? Well, it, it's, there's information on the bag and plenty of information around, but it's your basics, your cans, your bottles, your plastics um, are all recyclable. Yep. Um, some people get a bit confused with tissue paper and stuff like that. Yep. That's no, no good to be recycled as cardboard. Yep, okay. So, yeah. So hard cardboard can go in, newspaper? Newspaper and paper, yeah. Go in, yep. That, that uh, tissue paper stuff is yep. no good. Too light, yep. Yeah. Too pricey. All the recyclable aluminium plastics go in here, they get sent off to be recycled. Yep. But the glass you recycle here at Hotham? We do, we do it here on site. Yep. Yeah. All right, can we have a look at that? Sure. So Pricey, this is the glass crusher. Yep. How do we get that big bin of glass up into the top of this thing? Okay. So once we've got our full glass from the sorting station, we load our bin onto the forklift 
and then we lift the forklift up, we drop the glass into the hopper, glass will come down through the machine, come down through here, run through a set of hammers, which will smash the glass up into small pieces. Glass will then run down through here, come through the trommel. This will separate out all the labels, bottle caps, rubbish, that sort yep. of stuff from the glass. And that'll drop out to the end into our little red bin here. Yep, so that, that stuff all goes into land, landfill? That'll be landfill. And yep. then what do you get from the bottles? So from the bottles we end up with a fine sort of aggregate type material. So it's similar to crushed rock. And um, we can use that for making roads, footpaths, laying pipes. All that, all that, these sorts of things. Right, so you can you, you can pretty much use everything you make here from the glass crusher on the mountain? Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's the plan. We'll be yeah. able to, um, you know, make footpaths and the lot, that sort of stuff without bringing in extra materials. Yeah. And also without transporting away glass. Yeah, fantastic. Yeah. And what have been, what have been, like, has there been a, um, has there been a reduced, a reduction in the amount of waste that leaves the mountain or the amount of recycling that goes to recycling plants? Yeah, yeah, we've nearly been able to half the amount of recycling leaving. So a lot of glass produced here at Hoffham. Um, obviously that cuts down on transport costs and burning of fuels and the whole bit. So. Yeah, wow. Yeah, yeah. Fantastic. In the final episode of this three-part series, I'll be finding out what we can do to help as visitors on the mountain and talk to the people who are keeping the mountain healthy and beautiful. And I have a burning question that I need to get answered. Yep, and I think this might answer a question we had. <laughs>